we look at muscle gain, there are a few particular ways that people go sideways, common mistakes that inhibit muscle gain, whether you're a first timer or you actually have some experience trying to gain muscle mass. So number one is overcomplication or lifting too much, doing too much exercise. The second would be under eating. And I think that is perhaps even more common. My general recommendation would to keep things as simple as possible and look for the minimum effective dose. Just like medicine, you're looking for the dose that gets you the desired effect without unintended side effects, right? Like nervous system fatigue, difficulty sleeping if you overtrain and lift too much, for instance. And uh, there are a few approaches that you can take with this. My general recommendation is to minimize the likelihood of injury first also, instead of trying to increase performance. What does this translate into? I would suggest if you are lifting, particularly as a novice, that you consider either two full body workouts per week, Monday and Friday, uh, where you are using primarily, and a lot of people are gonna hate this recommendation, you're using primarily machines, and uh, you are doing two movements for pressing, two movements for pulling, and two movements for legs. And you would alternate, so you'd be doing push, pull legs, push, pull legs, all right? And you're never repeating the same exercise twice. And you're going to use a cadence that is very slow. So five seconds up, right? Very, very slow, or 10 seconds up, depending on how many injuries you have, and then five seconds down or 10 seconds down, and you're gonna do that to failure. Your goal is going to be at least 70 seconds, so that's depending, seven repetitions or perhaps fewer, 70 seconds of time under tension to failure, where you get to the point where you can no longer push or pull, and then you slowly lower the weight and you're done. One set to failure. Uh, so that would be one option, full body workouts, or if you are, say, a little bit larger, a lot of muscle mass and might require more time to recover, and the stronger and bigger you get, the more time you'll need to recover between identical workouts or lifts. You could do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, push workout on Monday, say, pull workout on Wednesday, and then legs workout on Friday. And you are not doing more exercises, all right? You are still just doing, say, two exercises in each of those. It's gonna be a very short gym workout. It could be five to 10 <laughs> minutes max. What is your warm up? Your warm up is the first few repetitions of the exercise because you're doing it at very slow cadence. And then in terms of under eating, we won't spend a lot of time on it, but when in doubt, eat more. Do not try to get super lean and super big at the same time. If you're trying to add muscle mass, uh, err on the side of adding a little bit of fat, and then you can always lean out afterwards. Uh, but you have to look at your caloric intake. When in doubt, I would suggest get something like beans, perhaps tuna or salmon, and then some macaroni and cheese and mix all that together and have that twice a day and you should be in pretty good shape. And if you wanna get really, really bad in the gas department, put on some muscle, you could try something like GoMad, which is a gallon of milk a day. But I would recommend you not have any roommates in that case. So simple, infrequent, to failure, don't forget to eat.